Welcome to the Daily Word for the Land. Today's reading is from the book of Leviticus, chapter nineteen, verses one to two, and verses eleven to eighteen. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, "Speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel and say to them, 'You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy.'" You shall not steal. You shall not deal falsely. And you shall not lie to one another. And you shall not swear falsely by my name, profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not defraud your neighbor, and you shall not steal. And you shall not keep for yourself the wages of a laborer until morning. You shall not revile the deaf. Or put a stumbling block before the blind. You shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not render an unjust judgment. You shall not be partial to the poor, or defer to the great. With justice, you shall judge your neighbor. You shall not go around as a slanderer among young people, and you shall not profit by the blood of your neighbor. I am the Lord. You shall not hate in your heart any one of your kin. You shall reprove your neighbor, or you will incur guilt yourself. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people. But you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. The Daily Word, twenty second of February, two thousand and twenty one, the season of Lent. The Holy Life. Brothers and sisters, I am the Reverend Doctor Richard Dunn. Today's Daily Word is taken from Leviticus chapter nineteen, verses one to two, and eleven to eighteen. Moses, the author of Leviticus, had a legendary life. From being the prince of Egypt, he became an exile in the wilderness. From receiving his calling from God in Exodus three seven to nine, he led the Israelites out from Egypt for forty years. The most legendary scene was when Moses was about to enter the cave. God asked him to take off his sandals and said, "Come no closer, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground." In Leviticus twenty twenty six, God recalled his nature by saying. You shall be holy to me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and I have separated you from the other peoples to be mine. Today we are also the people of God. We also need to sanctify ourselves, stay away from all the idols of the world, and pursue a holy life. From today's scripture, there are two points for our reflection. First. We need to pursue a holy life and ministry. In Leviticus nineteen one, God said to Moses at the very beginning, "Be holy, because I, the Lord your God, am holy." Therefore, we need to pursue this holiness in morality, law, worship, ministry, and spiritual activity. Two, we need to demonstrate holiness in daily life. Leviticus nineteen eleven to eighteen. In this chapter, there was a list of how to please the Lord with an ethical life. Do not take advantage of other people, verses eleven to twelve. That includes theft, deception, lying, and swearing falsely. All these would profane the name of God. Love and protect the weak, verses thirteen to fourteen. Do not learn from those rich and powerful people, who defraud their neighbor, steal their property, and become an unethical employer by keeping for themselves the wages of their employees. To those who are disabled, we should not bully them for their weaknesses, because they are also made in the image of God. Protect justice, verse fifteen. 
Justice is the foundation of a peaceful life for a community. Fairness in judgment ensures everyone is equal under the law, regardless of identity or social status. Protect our neighborhood. Verses 16 to 17. Most important thing in a neighborhood is to stop every action which causes conflicts. Do not gossip or become an enemy with others, or hate or seek revenge, but be brave to be a counsellor of our neighbour's faults, so that they will not go astray because no one has reminded them. Love your neighbour as yourself, verse 18. This passage was quoted by Jesus when he mentioned about the greatest commandment of all. To love your neighbour as yourself means that beside caring and taking care, it includes forgiveness, tolerance, putting ourselves into another's shoes. Therefore, we do not complain or hate, but protect the peaceful heart, for everything starts with love. In conclusion, I am the Lord your God appears in this chapter 15 times. May we all follow the teaching from the Lord's Prayer. May we hallow our Heavenly Father's name every day. May we put God first in the first place of our lives and pursue holiness in life and ministry in every position. Today, Christians face different challenges from the pandemic and social contexts. There is pressure from the economy, study and work. We could easily lose faith and start conflicts from disagreements. Through worship, fellowship and loving spiritual life together, may we drink from the fountain of strength and walk together faithfully with God's word and grace. Some thoughts for reflection. First, in our daily lives, how can we become the witnesses of holiness and distinguish ourselves from earthly standards and values? Second, to love is to show responsibility for people who are in need. With today's conflicts in the world, how can we love our neighbour as ourselves in a society so full of opposition and challenges. Let us pray. Lord, you are the source of holiness and love. Help us to become holy in our work and in our ministries and to love our neighbour as ourselves. Amen.